Well, it's day four of Super Mario week. Every episode, I'm gonna say day four. It's day six. Like, why? Like, even since I said day four yesterday, you would think I would mess it up and say day five today. No. Um, we're playing? Yep, you got it. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. We kind of established uh, what New Super Mario Bros. U is, and that's a style in um, Super Mario Maker. They're basically the same game, but with different power-ups. But the power-up, the main power-up included in Mario Maker, is from this game. Not actually U, even though it's also in U. But, yeah. So let's do this. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Alright. So this episode's gonna be quite the long one. I think that last episode was long. Oh boy. So I'm like, hey, I have an idea. Let's do the entire first world. I have another idea. Let's include... <laughs> <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. Wii and you. Don't worry, I've practiced. I know what I'm doing. But I haven't practiced you, practiced you so tomorrow is going to be a real, real shit fest. You know what? You know what, um... Mario Maker could have benefited from secondary power-ups. Like for like Mario 1, they have, um, even though Mario 1 didn't have a secondary power-up, they could have done something with it. They had the new Mystery Mushroom, which lets, lets you play as your amiibo, and that's the thing. Um, but then, it, of course you can't do that in Mario 3, Mario World, and Mario U, so that translates to the Super Leaf, the um, Cape Feather, and um, the propeller mushroom from this game, which you're about to see. But uh, the thing about that is, what is that? Secondary power-ups. So like for this game, it'd be the penguin um, suit, which kind of directly translates to um, the frog suit from Mario 3. And you know what? I guess if you were to put the ice flower from this game in anything, I guess it would work for Mario 1. That'd be kind of cool. Also, I'm kind of bummed out that snow theme isn't a th going to be a theme. I thought I would slide, I didn't. Wow. Snow theme is not going to be a theme in Mario Maker. That makes me sad, because I like snow levels. Ah, uh, but yeah. Um, this game reintroduces one of the best Mario mechanics that you'll see in a few levels. Um, yes, he's actually a mechanic. Um, it's a person. <laughs> I mean, it is a person who's not actually like a human, but he's not a mechanic. That's the joke was he was a mechanic, but he's not. And I just realized, unless I can, hmm. Probably could have ground pounded that to get a mushroom, but who knows? Oh wait, no, I forgot this was a thing. Now you do have to collect it, though it might if you, automatically if you walk over it. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, checkpoints are back, like in New Super Mario Bros. One, which really set the foundation for it. And so I think that's an important game. But like everyone who has a Wii has this game. Don't try to deny. It. I'm not going for that. Uh, what is it? Second star coin in this level because it's just a pain. <laughs> but yeah, this is the propeller mushroom, and uh, this is what it does. Even though I feel like the um, acorn mushroom from um, New Super Mario Bros. U is more directly related to uh, Mario 3's Super Leaf and Mario World's Cape Feather, uh, this is much better. Because first off, you can actually go higher with this, unlike with the freaking acorn mushroom. 
So yeah. This is our next new power-up that isn't in Mario Maker, so we're not even bothering. The Ice Flower, which actually first appeared in um, Mario uh, Mario Galaxy, but it was completely different. Ooh, one thing that's different here, you can't actually, if you collect a bonus power-up, you can't just keep the other one in your inventory. Uh, there is a way to keep items in your inventory, but it's more like how Mario 3 works. Unless how this works. If you can hear those um, low quality sounds <laughs> coming from the mi my microphone, not the game itself, um, the Wii Remote actually makes sounds. How you play is you hold it sideways. And that's odd. You know, let's just not. Of course, I did that. Boom. Uh. Actually, what did I think of it? Could I? But yeah, like I said, everyone has this game. And it's much longer than New Super Mario Bros. 1 is. Which, in and of itself, is longer than any other Mario game, 2D Mario game, that is. Though I guess if you're being a completionist, then Mario World is pretty long. Yeah, I did it. But probably doesn't even matter now. But yeah, um, the standard stuff, like the, um... Fire Flower, it's back. You see that uh, star coin there. Oh yeah, the star coins are back. So they're from uh, New Super Mario Bros. 1. So yeah, like I said, it set the foundation. Though, people, when they say New Super Mario Bros. tend to be referring to this game, not the DS version. Which kind of makes me bad, mad because the DS version is superior. And uh, if you take a look here, that star coin is gone. I said that way too soon. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, there's also a secret exit here. Uh, but it's not here here. Or is there? I'm not even sure that translated. But yeah, once again, keeping with the tradition, level 2 will always be an underground level. As level 1 is a regular level. But level three they decide, hey, let's uh let's shake it up a bit. Of course level four is the first uh mid castle or tower as I told you I like to call it. Actually let's go to the toad house here because you don't have to unlock them with star coins. What you unlock with star coins is different. Well first off at the end of the game there's like bonus levels and that's kinda like in Super Mario World, so that was cool. So yeah, this is like how it was in, um, New Super Mario Bros. 1. And also, there was something like this in, um, see Fire Flower, uh, Mario 3. But yeah, they're used to unlock, like, bonus little clips you can watch to see how to do good in, uh, whoops. How to do good in some levels. Get two Bowser Juniors and two Bowsers and you're out. If you get a Bowser and a Bowser Junior, you're safe though. Uh, but yeah, see here, this is, this is how that works. Uh, but I'm going to keep my Fire Flower for now. It's better for this level. Actually, the power-ups don't even matter for this level. Well, the level doesn't give you power up, So it's not actually a Mushroom level. So they're not keeping that going. Um, even though I like Mushroom levels. There are still Mushroom levels in the game. Ha. Were Hammer Bros even in New Super Mario Bros. 1? 
on the DS? I shouldn't have to say one. Just New Super Mario Bros. That's that's what it's called. There wasn't a game called Mario 3. There was a game called Super Mario Bros. 3, dang it. But yes, Yoshi! He returns from Mario World. And um, that's why I consider this game to be more of a... Whoa. Hey. To be more of a... Successor to Mario World, then uh, Mario One, and then New Super Mario Bros. One. I cannot focus and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's probably a bad thing I'm even doing this. I can't do that much. See, we're on level three, and we're already. Like two or three minutes over episodes one and two this week. But yeah, spinning uh, kinda returns from um, Mario World, but it doesn't work at all in the same way. That's how I broke those blocks that one time. Okay, strings are coming off. I swear I don't suck at this, guys. I'm just kind of trying to speedrun it, which is not exactly what I should be doing. But yeah, it has many me Yoshi mechanics from um, Super Mario World. And I don't think they give you another Yoshi here. They also don't give you a power-up, so that's cool. And uh, there's a secret down here. Yay! You think that yellow pipe is connected, but it's not. And this reminds me a lot of our room in, um, Mario World. I just realized. Huh. Not coincidentally, that room did have a dragon coin in it, and that's the room I used to access the thing. Um, actually, I should show this off. Look at this dandy secret. That's gonna take me ahead, and I don't want to be ahead, so I'm not doing that. You can, once again, abandon Yoshi to get height. <gasps> uh, like the cruel animal abuser you are. That can also happen. I'm not sure if that can happen in Mario World. But, um... See, I could have abandoned Yoshi to get to the top of the flagpole, but no. One difference, though. You can't keep Yoshi. You cannot keep Yoshi after one level. He's intended for certain levels. Not others. Mario, bad news, the letter got dropped off at the castle. Uh, that's the thing Bowser Jr. said, he's gonna kidnap a toad now. <sighs> I've just done so many of these videos this week. I only have this one and tomorrow's left. And tomorrow's, I barely have to explain anything, so I'm gonna be extra tired. And given that I'm probably gonna explain it today. So, when that happens with the toad and all that, what you gotta do is go back and, uh, save him. And you know what? Why not? That's a different tune. It's kinda cool. No, it's not. Never mind. Take it back. Yeah, if memory serves, toad will be in one of the blocks, it's this one. And that's how you spin, but here it's here. So you can't actually see. You can't uh, glide with him on. So Toad can take one hit. No, he can take two hits, I mean. You can't slide with Toad. So he's scoring all the points here. But yeah, and if you keep Toad to the end, depending on if he's shrunken, or if he's full-sized, then you'll get different rewards. And if he dies, well, what do you think you get? Well, it's hard to get something from someone who's dead. So you may think, oh, I can't enter the toad, the t <laughs> Enter the pipe with toad, no, he follows you. 
Get out that tail. What the? Oh yeah. I just said you can't enter the pipe with the toad. And then what do I do? I tried to enter the pipe with Toad. Toad, you are being a real hassle. Yeah, usually when you're going for 100%, you end up waiting on that and it moves super slowly. So don't. And I actually got that. You don't get extra points for Toad hitting the flagpole. This game also... Was it the first? It was probably the first Mario game, at least. Besides... Ooh, besides spin-offs, that was dumb. Well, spin-offs are competitive, not co-op. The first game to have four-player co-op. Up to four players, that is. New Super Mario Bros. 1, I didn't explain this, but on the DS it had, um, local multiplayer. Where you could just, um, one of you is Mario, one of you is Luigi, and you, t and you fight against each other to get, um, stars. Much like in, um, Super Mario 64, or something like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Something like that matter. And you can see here something. It said no, there's no co-op. Um, you can totally remote there. There are certain cheats you can do to play as uh, Luigi, but not all of them are completely accurate. Single player, that is. Single player here, you can't. Um, whoops! Probably should have kept the other one. You can't uh, play as anyone but Mario. Wow. Almost double the first episode, and we are not even halfway done. Oh, we're almost the length of last episode, and we're not even halfway done. It's funny, because even if you didn't get, like, bonus secret stuff, um, in this first world... Oh, is this the longest first world up to this point? Probably. Um... There's a split path you can take in the world that you don't need to get bonuses first for. And once you've played a game a certain number of times, you just get like, why am I doing this again? Maybe I'll, eventually I'll probably do a let's play where I 100% this game. Believe me, it's, it'll be much less tedious than my upcoming, which probably isn't like soon upcoming, um, Super Mario World Let's Play. Like, don't even get me started on that. That's gonna be pain. Like the definition of pain. Actually, I don't even think I've finished in my own time, um, Super Mario World. 100%. I'm in the Valley of Bowser, and just... The Valley of Bowser Fortress is like the hardest thing I've played in like any gaming. Whoops. I am falling. It's a good thing you don't take fall damage. If they translated that from the 3D games, then this would be different. A lot different. I don't think I would have, I would have near as much affection towards this game. It's strange how just one game mechanic could change everything. Like, oh, the game's um, controls are delayed. That could destroy it. Really, I don't hate the game uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, but what killed it for me was um, just how boring it is. The hub worlds are empty, the story is cliche and uninteresting. And there's, like, no character development or anything at all of that matter. And, um, yeah. And if you feel like everyone nowadays is hating on Sonic Boom, I agree that he gets way more hate than it deserves. But I'm not saying it deserves praise in the least bit. People just assume, if anyone doesn't hate the game, that they're, quote-unquote, um... Jesus, the lives defending it, and that's just like, well, I'm just saying that you're over-exaggerating, you little idiot. You can't, um, 
Jesus. As you saw earlier, the Koopalings have returned, for, and uh, they have not appeared since Mario World, and they replaced Bowser Jr. here. Um, Bowser Jr. is still in the game in another manner, which makes you question um, how Koopa's sexuality worked. Um, but uh, there's also no, no longer original bosses. They're just uh, Koopalings the second time. So some yeah, some people may think that there's that the spin attack, the spin move, comes from um. First off, it works differently, so you can't like bounce off like blood sauce and all that. Um, I think it comes from Mario Galaxy. I mean, even I did at some point, even in the version in Smash Bros. Brawl that Luigi and Mario can do. Um, I thought that came from Mario Galaxy, but no, it comes from uh, it was actually in uh, both previous Smash Bros. games before that. So yes, you can also quick save. That's a thing games before that, so of course it wasn't. So you'd think, oh, did Smash Bros. come up with that itself? Um, no. It's from Mario World. Yeah, that ice flower cannot damage the Koopalings. So yeah. I say the Koopalings instead of bosses, because they are the only bosses besides the occasional Bowser Jr. fight. Um, the one Kamek fight, and, uh, the Bowser fight. In addition to the giant Bowser fight, which really isn't much of a fight, but it's one of the coolest, uh, final bosses. This is a game's version, of course. In, like, any games I've played recently. I think in there is a Fire Flower, so I'm kind of doing myself a disservice by not getting that. But yeah. Water levels, man. There's a bonus water level that I didn't do in World 1 of, uh, this is Mario Bros. 1, but, uh, that's why I didn't do it, because it was bonus, and I might not have even had enough star coins. Speaking of, it's not worth getting that one. It's easy how, but... That's also a thing you can do. You gotta freeze a guy and he floats up. Just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> like even practicing this, I'm like, okay, they clearly didn't want you to do all of this in one sitting. Really, if I, if you haven't played this game before, if I were to recommend something, play up until a castle or mid castle. That gives you an automatic save point. But you also have quick saves. Of course, quick saves won't save you from getting the game over. Then you have to start from back from a. Uh, the mid castle or castle, but um, yeah, you can quick save if you're just that bored and you want to stop playing. But too much of a good thing can be bad. So, once again, this game's fantastic. This is the thing you could avoid him, but nah. Oh, come on. No, actually, you don't actually have to kill any of them. If I killed none of them, I would have gotten a 1-up. I was trying to get a 1-up, but I failed. I'm doing a combo and all that. Mushrooms. That you'll probably have the most of, because you did so dang many of these. I think after any level, that resets. You know, first off, as yeah, see here, it's a split path. I could do either one, and it would lead me to the castle. This one, this level I can speed run, but this level's a mushroom level. So you know what? I mean, I could do both. You know what? I'm gonna do both just because I'm nice like that. Yeah, there's just a certain level of doneness you get after a while. I meant to give myself a mushroom before I started this. Ah. 
boom. Did it. Yay. It's like it just actually floats way up there. It's like, oh, gee, thanks. That works the same as it did before, which I just... Doesn't even matter because I just lost it, and then there's probably one in one of those question mark blocks, but I can't be bothered. Mushroom levels, still fun. They still look cool. They look better because this is the Wii. That's obviously the Wii is more powerful than the DS. Clearly. Whoops. And yeah. Luckily, it's not until Mario 3D Land that they actually expect you to get the top of the flagpole. But Mario 3D Land was before New Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super, therefore New Super Mario Bros. U, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Alright, let's do it. I think if you die and get kicked out of the level, the, that enemy reappears to so that Goomba I fought. Alright, I thought I can speed run this level. Let's uh, put that to the test. Actually, let's put it to the test after getting this. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's helpful to have a fire flower. Whoops, okay. I've done a better job before, but... Yeah, you could just run straight through if you didn't get hit like me. And hey, look at that. See, that didn't take too long. When I was practicing, I died a lot, so... Be lucky. You don't have to see that. It's not pretty. And you see that airship there? Well, that doesn't mean we're going on an airship. It means all the Koopalings have their own airship. Wait, no. That's in New Super Mario Bros. U. My apologies. Oh yeah, I mentioned New Super Mario Bros. 2. That game's stupid and doesn't matter. I don't consider it a bad game, but I didn't see the point of it when once I got to, like, a certain point, which was in the middle of World 2, so that probably wasn't a good thing. It's just not something that I could binge play like this, or New Super Mario Bros. 1, or even New Super Mario Bros. U for that matter, even though two came out before you, but I played it after because I got a Wii U before a 3DS. I could go back for that. That was a horrible mistake. Boom. People speedrunning, man. Speedrunning is so cool. Such a cool thing. Oh, come on. That's also a secret down there that I choose not to get. Ha! Ah, whoops. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, ha! Ah. Okay. So there's nothing. So no fire flower for me. You can still kill him like I did to Bowser Jr. last episode. The Koopalings won't be in um, Super Mario Maker, it's just uh, Bowser Jr. Not sure about Magikoopas and Kamek. No, I think at least Magikoopas will be. Yeah, I'm positive, but not sure about Kamek specifically. Yeah, Magikoopas will help with my whole Mario World recreation project. Just honestly switch between two platforms and then catch him in midair. Oh. Like that. And then get a Mario 64-esque Bowser key. And see a cool little cutscene. Yeah, you don't actually play an airship level. Come to think of it, yeah, this is the game that reintroduced the airship levels. They're in some worlds, um, and then you have to fight Bowser Jr. at the end. But not all of them. 
like tears some sometimes instead of ending the world they'll send you to another level which is an airship level and that's kind of cool also in new super mario bros u and other bosses for some reason mega sledge bro or sumo bro or whatever and uh that's just dumb I mean, it's a kind of cool boss fight, but like, they didn't have to reuse the whole only Koopalings mechanic. Wild 2 is a cool world in this game. I like it. Um, the level um, design, that is. I'm Matt Crash Turp, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I was tired throughout this whole video, just because I've had a long, stressful week. Not specifically because of this, this has been easy. Super Mario Makers in two days. New Super Mario Bros. U is tomorrow. It's quite literally almost the exact same as this game. And on that note, I am out. Bye bye.